Hello Truth Seekers. So today, Alpha Warrior is premiering a live stream of an interview I've done with him concerning the Ghost in Machine video. I'm talking about this one put up by the Fourth Psyop Group, uploaded on YouTube. If you're getting to this video from the live stream, I intend to use some visual aids to clarify some positions I've made. The focus will be on a narrative that links these two videos, Ghost in the Machine, the original video uploaded May 2022, and in comparison to Among the Stars, which was uploaded July 13, 2023. So looking at this video, at 2 minutes 59 seconds, we're shown the compass with the emphasis on the numbers 2, 6, and 8. This might be a dial, not sure exactly what this is. But from our source, it is critical to understanding the video. The link is 268 and a message in the stars. If you type in 268 Avenue of the Stars onto Google Earth, one of the choices will be this location, Avenue of the Stars, Miami, New York. If you navigate there, you're taken to this area, which as you see is sort of remote in the woods in this part of New York. And so I explained that this was likely behind the forest reference in the beginning of the video. Here's a screenshot the source sent me of the area. And here's a screenshot of the constellation Virgo superimposed. In a video at 2 minutes 39 seconds, we are everywhere obscures a word that gives the location of the station. But you can see the name of the location through the window, which is Stedman. Stedman is German for town square, which, when taken in the context of the time at 646, is providing a veiled reference to New York. A 646 is an important area code there and most Americans watching or PSYOP group video are gonna have an association with US New York subway. And so then I'll send a screenshot of New York overlooking the area of Times Square. Another screenshot showing an overlap of the 268 Ave address overlaid on Manhattan with some matching of the roads between the two locations, interestingly. And also shown the constellation Virgo with specifically the star Delta Virginis overlaid on Times Square with the other stars following the border of Manhattan. And so in comparing their follow-up video among the stars to the initial video, we know that the initial video definitely subtly and directly referenced New York. The follow-up video has this zoom way in a zoom way of Times Square. And what's even fascinating about this zoom away is that it shows this eye as well as this network of interconnections. The Among the Stars videos features agents of some sort approaching an abandoned area. Think this area it appears as a veiled reference. At 12 seconds into this video, Among the Stars, you have this sequence where you have military staff gathered in a room looking at an area on a map. It transitions to this view of some isolated area showing a security camera as if it's like a targeted area, it even says target compound, which again seems to be a veiled reference to this area I showed you before, also seen here. And so the sequence I'm about to show you here, starting at 28 seconds, you see this glitch effect with screens. Then the scene converts to these guys in the woods approaching a building. And so my thinking is this is the quantum communication across timelines. And so as I mentioned in the interview, it was so stated to me that at least this video was put on this channel, not in a normal fashion, in a fashion that's beyond our understanding, in a manner involving an adjacent timeline and presumably some advanced understanding of quantum physics. Its insertion, May 2nd, 2022, was to serve as a type of symbolic instruction book to specific tasked individuals of our present timeline. In just one month prior, there was a manhole explosion that occurred April 11, 2022, of which I was informed was a consequence linked in some way to the alteration of time, meaning that this particular event at some point didn't exist and came into being, possibly retroactively. And so you have this location in New York. It is corresponding to a specific place on the globe. You have Manhattan, New York, which I'll denote here. And you have this special place in Germany, which we note with an arrow here. And so the source was given clues from the video to know to investigate in these three different locations. The exact details of the investigation, I've not really been allowed to know at this point. 
The source who showed me these things has been communicating with me honestly for a long time. I felt I've only benefited in understanding, patience, and hope in communicating with this source. I've not given the source money. So as of yet, I do not really perceive a key bono, you know, the benefit of me being deceived. Duper's delight only goes so far. And so from my experience, it's my assertion that the content posited to me concerning the nature of these videos is likely in the neighborhood of the truth, as amazing as it seems. Now for the tidbits. Alpha Warrior is a fairly prominent conservative commentator following of 51,000. On his rumble, he has some fairly serious shows talking about Operation Gladio, interviewing General Flynn, looking into Dr. Jan and Tor says. And so he brings to my attention the fact that this other psychological operations group, the eighth, which has been seen communicating with the fourth, the fourth being the progenitors of these videos, has something interesting going on with its following. He didn't tell me this, but something I observed is that many uh, individuals who are following me uh, also happens to be following this channel. So there's quite a bit of follower overlap. What's interesting is this. So under the accounts this group is following, the vast majority of accounts are military accounts like USSOCOM, US Marines, Department of Defense, US Army, 7th Special Forces Group, US Navy, 101 Airborne Division, AKA the Screaming Eagles. And you scroll down, there's a lot of these. Now, something that's very interesting is the small number of civilian accounts being followed. So one is Elon Musk, and then surprise, surprise, the Alpha Warriors, one of the accounts is being followed by this group and Wendy's and Vice President Kamala Harris, but not Joe Biden and the CIA and the Regular Warfare Initiative. But wh why this is interesting is it only is following 111 accounts and this is one of the accounts it's following. It's a prominent conservative account. And it's, this is not just a conservative account. This is an individual who, as I demonstrated to you, is clearly in a know in the deepest trenches of the truth-seeking world. This is very good. I can't tell you why this is very good, but I just ask you to use your imagination. Band bigger, bigger. Consider what this possibly could mean in the grand scheme of things. Another tidbit, around the time I was initially uploading videos covering the ghost machine video this individual who goes by osaka joined my telegram account and explained the meaning of coco the clown i was told in psychological warfare it's when the attack strikes a target one of two things will happen the target internalizes the payload the target does not internalize the payload in psychological warfare a seeming failure of an informational propagandistic payload let's say a specific type of mimetic imagery it's ridicule in rejection is actually considered a success and that is the symbolism of the clown which initially was laughed at being converted to the ghost as symbolized partly by the depiction of the clown here here in the cartoon this conversion from the clown to the ghost in the burning tv the ghost machine another account i know very well michael ray corey june 15th 2022 Posted this odd tweet. We are everywhere. We see everything. We hear you. Sound of freedom. Nothing can stop. YouTube, sorry. Nothing. He tweets a ghost symbol on an earth with satellites. This is followed up post from the 8th PSYOP group showing a ghost floating in the heavens between the earth and the moon. The follow up is July 23rd. Again, this is good. Think bigger. High-minded individuals who have a standard for what they like to see in this world are working diligently and very stealthily. You're not the only person who thinks what is going on around you as extremely unacceptable and bizarre. We must be steadfast guarding against the wiles of the enemy. So do check out this interview if you get a chance. It's on Rumble. It's Rumble. You can find me on X, Rumble, Telegram, Truth Social, and YouTube. Anyways, thanks for watching. Peace.